Um, so I'm going to talk. Uh, I'm just going to continue this workflow uh, conversation um, and, and talk about uh, some updates in Galaxy. Um, and everything I'm going to say today is is my is my own opinion. Um, but before I sort of give my opinion, I did want to have a couple, uh, at least one slide here where I talk maybe about a Galaxy philosophy for workflows. So um, I, I think in, in, in the Galaxy community, um, the most important user is the bench scientist. Um, we, we've done a lot of things. Well, I mean, we, we have an API. We have great command line tools. We have a great developer community. Um, but um, ultimately, we see the, the sort of hopefully all this work is driving toward a really great user interface that allows data exploration for, for, for bench scientists. Um, so Galaxy workflows will never require an SDK. They'll, they'll, I mean, we will hopefully someday support the common workflow language, but it will never be required. Uh, Galaxy users can build workflows in, in, in an IDE environment. Uh, we provide a lot of convenience for them. They can do an interactive analysis and just extract a workflow from a, from a history of computation they've done. Um, and and that, that, that is, going to be paramount. So the things I'm going to talk about today are, are, are for our conveniences for people who prefer developer processes, which I think is a theme we've seen a lot. Um, so just briefly talk about over the last year, since the last time someone's talked about Galaxy at BOSC, what we, we have done uh, the, 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 for workflows. Um, the GUI has been enhanced. So we have a new uniform tool, a, a backbone-driven MVC model for uh, for tools that, 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 that are spread into the workflow editor. Um, the workflow run form has been updated or is about to be updated. So the UI has had a refresh. Uh, I'm going to talk today about, and we've seen this, that workflows are programs. And this is kind of a novel concept, I think, in Galaxy, where workflows, I don't know, not really been thought of as programs in the past. There they're, they're, have been pipelines that, that are sort of driven with GUIs. I mean, it's still a program. But anyway, when, when you think about these as programs, labeling things is important. So inputs and outputs in Galaxy workflows can be labeled at, at every step. And this is important for referencing different things. Um, well, Galaxy now allows nested workflows, which was, was always the sort of number one uh, request uh, of, 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 for Galaxy workflows. Um, so we, we have a we, we can take a workflow and put it as oops, as a, a, sub, a nested sub workflow uh, and then here's an image thanks to Brad Langhorst at New England Biolabs that he uh, sent me at the Galaxy Community Conference last week. Um, so what about Planemo? Um, Planemo was, was was briefly talked about uh, at last year's Bosque. It's a command line toolkit for building Galaxy tools. Um, and a tool is, is a wrapper. It's, 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 it's a description of, of, of a, a single piece of computation, uh, maybe in, in a workflow or, or maybe just as part of a, a, a sort of interactive analysis. Um, I, I think in 2016, uh, we just got done with the Galaxy conference and, and talk after talk, if there was discussion of tools, it seemed like everyone was developing tools with Planemo. So I think it's been a big success. Um, and, and I think there's a couple secrets to that. Um, one is it's, it's artifact centric. So, in traditional Galaxy development, you have to clone down Galaxy and modify some configuration files to get your tools in there and, and add some data to a test data library. Uh, it was Galaxy-centric. And then there was this, I, I mean, that workflow got replaced with something that was uh, almost even worse, where you'd have to publish your tool before you could even test it. But with Planemo, um, if you want to take a tool um, and you want to test it, you just say, Planemo, test this tool um, on the command line. So it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's, it's centered around getting out of your way and just you focus on your artifact, what you're building as a, as a tool developer or as a workflow developer. Um, so it works with existing sort of developer methodologies, uh, command line oriented. Um, you know, people use it with GitHub and Travis. Um, it's very flexible, very easy to configure, and the documentation is focused on usage examples. Um, I, I think if, if, if I think this is one thing that, the, for instance, the CWL has done really well, hopefully in the last few months, is, is the documentation is now more usage focused and less spec focused. I mean, specification focused documentation is great, but if you really want people to sort of get in there and, and dig into it, I think the usage examples are, are, are the best way to go. And Plenum's documentation has always sort of been set up that way. Um, so what this talk is about is I, I took this idea that seemed to work well for tools, and, I, and I'm going to try to apply it uh, for workflows, a completely different sort of beast in some ways, and we'll just see if it works. Um, so coming back to this idea of workflows or programs, when I write workflows, um, I like to write tests. Uh, when I write programs, any kind of program, I write tests, and I write them before I write the thing 
do my coding, I commit them to GitHub right away, uh, and I use a text editor. So these are all very different than how Galaxy has traditionally thought about workflows. Um, so we're going to take this Planemo uh, tool, and, and uh, I should, for people who weren't at BOSC last year, Planemo is very easy to install. I'll just say pip install Planemo. Uh, we have a VM. Uh, it's in Homebrew. It's in Conda. Um, it just brings up a Galaxy interface with the workflow loaded in. If you have, um, we have this concept of a tool shed where you can publish your tools. So if your workflow has tool shed tools in it, those will get installed automatically. So like I said, it's very artifact centric. You just say, let me see the workflow and you can see the workflow. Um, if you have extra local tools, you can specify them on the command line. This is maybe a little too nitty gritty uh, for this talk. Um, and so the serve command was something that we had for tools and was sort of demonstrated last year. But this year, uh, with workflows, things are a little bit harder. It takes longer to set up data. Um, it takes the time to like, install these artifacts from the tool shed. Um, the Galaxy default database is SQLite, which has a tendency to lock. And cluster access is very important um, with workflow testing and development. Uh, so I've introduced this concept of Planemo profiles. Um, it's a persistent named Galaxy configuration instead of um, running data that, that's um, served across workflow or tool invocations when you're using Planemo. So I just say Planemo, create this profile, and then when I serve or test or run a tool or workflow, just use that profile. Um, the, the, the database locking error uh, can be solved now with, 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 by, by setting up a, a database along with your, your, your profile. So you can just say, allocate me a Postgres database, and Planemo will take care of the details of doing that. Um, likewise, with clusters, Galaxy has this concept of a job configuration file, which might be a little scary at first, but it's actually a very simple XML file to describe how you can talk to your cluster. And Galaxy has a plethora of cluster and cloud options. Um, I actually talked about that like two years ago at BOSC. Well, next year I'm not going to talk at BOSC. I'm going to take a break. You guys are sick of hearing about me. Um, but anyway, uh, you, you can do that um, with plenty more profiles also. Um, or you can just sort of, uh, if you don't have a cluster available or you don't want to have a Postgres running on your local machine, you can also just use um, a, a Docker Galaxy instance. So it's just an instance of like a production quality Galaxy pre-configured and, and sitting um, on Docker Hub. And it, it's been put together by Bjorn Grunin and, and a lot of members of the Galaxy community. Um, and you can just sort of use it with your, with your use it as a profile option using this uh, new engine type uh, option to Planemo. So that's how you can sort of start interacting with Galaxy workflows and turning, serving them. I also brought up this concept of I want to edit them. And we've seen today some really nice examples of CWL workflows and, 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 and how you can just sort of edit them with a text editor. Um, if you take a look at Galaxy's traditional workflow format, it's atrocious because it, it, was, it was not ever really meant to be used this way. So I, I say it's neither human writable or even really human readable. Um, it's JSON. Uh, if you try to build programming artifacts in JSON, I just I can't condone that at all because it doesn't allow comments. Um, so what I did for Planemo, um, and actually this started as just a, a project inside of Galaxy proper to sort of build test workflows, is, is, is I built a workflow format. Um, Michael has convinced me, he has assured me that we can just actually not even develop this format. This can just be common workflow language workflow with Galaxy tools inside. But right now, uh, so I'm going to try to skip through this really quickly, but it's, it's, it's actually very inspired by a lot of CWL concepts. So even if Galaxy never supports CWL natively, which hopefully it will, um, there's already been a lot of crosstalk between the projects. And I feel like the, the, the process of working on CWL has actually brought a lot of innovation to Galaxy and, and vice versa. Um, and so that's the, the, that's the sort of innovation that comes from collaboration. Um, so I'm going to skip over these because they're just going to be CWL next year. Um, you can test workflows with Galaxy. So this is, uh, I talk a lot about test-driven development. It's so important. Um, so I can just say Planemo test my workflow. Um, it gives you a nice HTML output option. There's a lot of different reporting options, a lot of different logging. It, and, it, and you can even allow you sort of a Planemo share test. We'll give you a little link that shows your test results in a web browser that you can post with a pull request, for instance. So Planemo is used extensively with our, our various community tooling efforts in, in the Galaxy community, which, which are quite large um, and, and have really great testing and, and really great sort of the, the, the PR system and GitHub has really sort of benefited, I think, you know, tool and workflow development in Galaxy. Um, and so this will work with either the old Galaxy tools or the new ones. Um, 
to do this, uh, to, to test workflows. So Galaxy Tools had an XML-based thing inside of the tool itself for testing. I've sort of generalized it, and so now there's a, a Planemo sort of style testing file that actually can be used by Planemo to test a Galaxy tool, a workflow, or a CWL tool, or a CWL workflow, and all using the same sort of YAML format. So if your file is named like myworkflow.ga, for instance, or myworkflow.cwl, if you just append a .test.yaml to the base name of the file, uh, Planemo will, will pick up the test inside of it and, and run the test. Um, and you get the nice reporting from Planemo. Um, and this is what the test format looks like. It's heavily inspired by CWL test and by Galaxy's format, both. So um, you have a description of a job, the documentation, um, the outputs um, for fixed files, for large files, the checksum might come in handy. I think, in, in, and that's the sort of CWL test, um, that's, that's what's sort of generally used in the CWL conformance test, for instance. But what's generally done in Galaxy uh, land is you provide the expected output file and then you can provide, um, for instance, if the file is not exact because there's hard-coded paths in the file or because there are dates or something like that, you can specify the lines of difference. Um, there's various like assertion-based tests. There's a, a whole uh, assertion-based test framework driven around this. So for different data types, you can have different assertion statements that are all sort of sticking with this idea of a declarative uh, test language. Um, Michael had brought up this, this, this problem where the Giga Science publishes a, a, great, a great paper with a great Galaxy workflow, but you want to bring it to your, your system if you don't have Galaxy set up. Well, Planema can handle that now. All these options in terms of talking to databases, talking to clusters, easy configuration. Um, it, it can all be done with Planema Run today. So you just say Planema Run, a workflow, and then give it a, a, a sort of, it's the same job description that's, again, inspired by CWL, uh, but for running Galaxy workflows. Um, and, and that can happen today. All right. Um, so uh, so that's, the, that's in Galaxy land. Coming back to common workflow la language land to sort of st stick with the theme, um, where are we with support for, for common workflow language in Galaxy? Um, there's experimental tool support today. If you're using Planemo with, with, with CWL tools, you can just sort of bring up a Galaxy instance and see your tool inside of it. Um, Planemo will just detect that it's a CWL tool if you, if you give it this command line option or, or if it's testing and we'll just use a different branch of Galaxy. So we'll use a, it will use this branch of Galaxy here, um, which will, whoa. Sure. Okay. Uh, I didn't press the button to do that, I don't think. Oh, I think this is just. Oh, no, it's just me. Thank you. Stop, stop waving your arms. No. <laughs> I'm just too excited. I know. <laughs> CWL, Galaxy, yes. All right. Um, so, yeah, anyway, run test. All the things you can do with Galaxy workflows, you can do with CWL workflows, uh, with tools, I should say. Galaxy doesn't support uh, CWL workflows at this time. Hopefully, every boss, I say next boss, will support that. Uh, but Planemo can do still workflow testing and, and, and workflow running um, using the CWL tool reference implementation instead of Galaxy. So the same engine type that we saw earlier to run Galaxy in a Docker can also be used just to use the CWL reference implementation uh, for their runs and tests. Um, and and that's, that, 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 that's a great community project sort of spearheaded by Peter. Um, and and Planemo can make, make use of that. Uh, Planemo also sort of can be used to build command line um, uh, can, can build skeletons for, for CWL tool artifacts. So here's an example that's taken verbatim from the Planemo documentation for how to build Galaxy tools, except for when you add the dash CWL tool um, example to it, um, it will build a CWL tool instead of a Galaxy tool. And so what, basically what you can do is you give it a name, an ID, it will do some validation on those things. If you give it an example command like this, um, here's the, you know, I'll, I'll run this command line. Here's what my input and output are. If those are files, you can build an, Basically, you can build everything. So it will, it will it'll take the test data, it will copy it into a test data directory, it'll set up the test file for you, it will set up uh, you know, this bootstrapped um, CWL file for you. It's still targeting draft three. I need to update this to, to 1.0, but um, I've only had a few minutes. Um, um, but it, it, it sets up all this for you. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that's helpful. Um, I think it's proven helpful in, in, in the Galaxy community to sort of bootstrap things this way and, and have that extra validation that Planemo does. Uh, Planemo can do this 
linting Galaxy tools and now can lint workflow or can lint tools in ProCWL also. So Planimo L or Planimo lint. Uh, well, we'll just check your, your tool for various things before you even need to run or run your tests. So, yeah, and you, you can, like I said, use your tests and it, it, will, it will act, it, it treats CWL artifacts in a, in a similar way to Galaxy artifacts, even if it's not going to run Galaxy on, on the back end. Um, so, I think in, in the Galaxy community, it's very intrinsic, it's very just known that, that the, when we produce artifacts, we test them, but I don't know that that's necessarily the case in, in other communities, uh, other people developing plugins. I think Docker, to some large degree, makes a lot of deployment matters kind of identical across, across uh, uh, setups, so that even further reduces the need for testing. I still think that testing is important, because um, even if your test data, if you make some change to your pipeline, your test data will change a little bit. Um, you can still do a bunch of sanity checks about the test data. You can see a diff. So if you're using Git, you can see a diff between, you know, if I tweak this tool, does, does the output still roughly look the same? Um, and I think uh, this has been alluded to a couple times, but, you know, we sort of started and we said Docker is how we're going to sort of handle runtime environments, but almost right away people said, no, nah, you can't just do Docker. And so Galaxy does more than just Docker. I mean, Galaxy can do Docker, of course, but um, it's actually Galaxy's sort of wheelhouse is, the, uh, is these academic institutions and supercomputers. Um, and, and so Docker is not really there yet. So Galaxy's whole infrastructure for um, how it does dependency resolution, uh, how it can interact with Bioconda or Homebrew or environment modules um, has some, some variant of this has made it into CWL 1.0. Uh, there's the pull request. There's, there's an open pull request to add it to CWL tool. So the idea is hopefully you can define these requirements. You know, I need, uh, I need you know, um, SAM tools and BWA. And, you, and your tool can specify that in, in an abstract way. And, and hopefully it can be sort of, it, it can use the same backend to sort of resolve these dependencies between Galaxy or CWL. Um, and then just to quickly highlight the MALD project, again from Bjorn Grun, um, it can take these descriptions and tools of the abstract software that's being, that's being used, such as, you know, SAM tools and BWA, and it can automatically, and, and it automatically builds Docker, fi uh, Docker containers uh, corresponding to these and publishes them in a sort of with consistent names based on the requirements. So this, this I think, has the opportunity to provide uh, much more, uh, Docker files are great, but they're, they're sort of a black box. Hopefully this, this structured approach uh, provides a greater level of, uh, you know, metadata about what's, what's happened to, to install the software and, you know, it, it means we can collaborate. Uh, I like this, this concept of the surface of collaboration, right? We can collaborate without needing to collaborate at, at the Docker level. Uh, we, you know, people using Docker and, and, and people uh, running on, on, on supercomputers can, can do the same thing. So just a quick thanks to the Planemo contributors on the side, the Galaxy team, the Galaxy tool development community is just amazing. Um, as the Common Workflow Language Group, with a special thanks to Michael and Peter, who have just sort of worked through all these compromises to sort of make CWL um, more amenable to, to Galaxy and, and, and vice versa. I just, I, I, I just it, it's been a really fantastic process, and I, and I hope that both both projects, both, you know, both teams and environments and, and communities have really benefited from that. I really loved that, uh, that, that co community pair earlier. It really spoke to me. So thanks. Any questions? Is it time for questions?